Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4, part 43, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, final fucking Lee. I don't have to say this sentence anymore. Next race of the Thousand Mile series, it's over. It's fucking over. God. So now, we can move on to the shorter videos, the easier ones to make. And uh, hopefully more interesting races than what you've been seeing for, well, what I've been uploading the past two months over a long-ass period of time. Now we're going to be going to the... I have no idea how to pronounce this, so I'm not even going to try. You can read it. You know what it is. Basically, it's German car stuff. So, I don't have a car for this league, but I do have one for the next one lined up. And I have no idea... No idea at all what I'm going to get. And let me change my emulator settings because this is going to be very annoying. All right, much better. No more computer seizures while that's uh, doing its thing. So, I got to find a somewhat slow car, like probably 200 horsepower range to participate in this series of three races. I'm going to browse for a bit and I'll get back to you if I find something. Well, that was fast. I uh, found the car I'm going to use. You guys all know I'm not a Mercedes fan, but I kind of do want to... kind of do want to get this, because it reminds me a little bit of the Buick GNX. And I fucking love that thing, so... We're going to be going with a Mercedes... <coughs> yeah, saying that almost made me gag. Uh... I highly doubt I'm going to need to do anything to this at all. So, uh... Matter of fact, it might be a tad overpowered. So... I've been wanting to make these races a lot more interesting. Getting the A-spec points up. So, I'm going to start utilizing the standard tires here and there. If I need to. I mean, the road tires aren't that bad compared to the sport tires, but these two are... Ugh, this one's almost impossible to drive on. It's just pure torture. I'd rather get waterboarded, to be honest. But, uh... Yeah, so... We're gonna be rocking this thing for this episode. I hope it's enough. But in case it's too much, then at least I got the standard tires for it, so... Oh... Uh, yeah, something like a A. Schweinhund like a A. German stuff, anyways. Thankfully, this car can compete because it's oddly specific about what can and what can't. It could have just put a horsepower rating on it or some shit, but who cares? Anyways, yep, three laps of Trial Mountain. Here we go. Alright, it looks like I'm gonna be a little bit underpowered compared to the competition. Uh, I gotta adjust my settings first and then we'll get started. All right, take two, because I am just garbage. And for some reason, PCSX2 does not like this map, and it's giving my computer a headache. And it's slowing down the frames, and it's throwing my sense of speed off, and yeah, it's fucking me up quite a bit. So yeah, uh, as far as the car goes, it's actually pretty well balanced against the opponents. Kind of got to use a little bit of NOS at the start to... Make my way up to the front of the field pretty quickly. Also smash my way around it and go uh, rallying while I'm at it. Oh, I just love it when I'm talking about stuff and the race is going good and then I fuck up catastrophically and soil everything and there goes five minutes of talking. It's always nice. I don't even remember what I was talking about early on. Just what I was talking about before I, uh... Before I bamboozled myself. So, uh... I had a weird thought the other day. Is it just me, or does polyphony seem to be... Or, like, does polyphony seem to have a fetish for tunnels? Like, just think about it. On this track alone, there's three tunnels. Red Rock Valley had a tunnel. Midfield has two tunnels. Grand Valley has two tunnels. 
What else has a tum tunnel? Deep Force has a tunnel. Shamonix has a tunnel. What else? What else? What else? El Capitan has a tunnel. Most of the original Gran Turismo circuits have tunnels on them. Some of them multiple, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm not complaining about it, but... Like, yeah. Tunnel fetish. Hell, Special, special Stage has a... Has a tunnel as well. Special stage, special special education. Yes, that's me. Because retarded. Emulator seems to be running better now that I nerfed the graphics a little bit. Eh, okay, well, emulator's gotten better, but I clearly haven't. Same fucking spot I fucked up last time. Also, you might be wondering why this happens a lot in my videos. Most of the time it's not intentional, it's just the buttons on the... on the G29 are... kind of weird in the fact where, like, if I barely press it, like, with the weird amount of force, it just ends up doing that. So, yeah, that, that's kind of why it happens, and then I just go along with them, like, ha ha ha, epilepsy, take that, viewers, ha ha. Also, holy hell, this car looks amazing. This is the only Mercedes I, like, truly like in this game, although it does sound like a bag of wieners. Like, this one of the easily the worst-sounding cars in this game. But it looks fucking cool. And uh, there's some weird lighting issue going on on the real, the real, yes, under the rear spoiler of the car for some reason. This reminds me a lot of a Buick GNX, and I kind of want to use a Buick G GNX at some point. Actually, you know what? I think there's a series that I might actually do it in. I think I have an idea right now. So, uh, as far as, like, what I'm going to be doing after the European events, I kind of goofed in the sense that I was going to do the next set of driving missions, which is the Slipstream Battles, and I kind of already went and recorded it and then realized, oh shit, I still have two European events left. So, yay. Good thing I was uh, recording that, planning on doing post-commentary anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I did it before this, but... Oh well. Also, I haven't used NOS ever since I passed uh, the Audi, so... That's neat. Yeah, so, at this point in time... I have done the next driving missions, but that's not going to come out until after the next episode where I wrap up the European events. And as far as after the driving mission episode comes out, I think I'm going to start doing some one-make racing. Because I don't want to wait and do all the one-make races like before I get tackle or start tackling the... Uh, probably like the rest of the endurance events. Because I, I want to do the endurance events like scattered throughout the LP and not just finish all of them up at the very end like a uh, Rhino GT4 did because there are some cars that you win from the endurance events that I want to use throughout the game so that's the reason oh hey look at that I won cool 141 a spec points I think I'm gonna throw those standard tires on for the next race so actually it's probably suicide to do that on Opera Paris but maybe the other track. So yeah. Uh, I think after the driving mission episode comes out, I think I'm going to start on the... Uh, probably the American one-make races. So I'll do the one-make races like based off uh, con like continental-wise, I guess. I'll start with the American ones. Uh, also, we're going to opera pairs, four laps, blah, blah. 
Uh, I'll start off with the American one make races, and I'll probably go European, and then ended up or ended off on the Japanese one make races because that's going to take the longest amount of time. And well, I kind of want to get to 25% game completion as soon as possible. Also, we're going to start the race right now. Blah. And uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the dealy do for that. Anyways, four laps around Opera Paris. The German has returned to Paris once again. This game has a fetish for tunnels, and Germans going to Paris to invade France. Also, uh, the video quality is going to look like absolute AIDS on this track because the road texture is just asking for YouTube compression to absolutely... I don't know if I could say this word, but I'm going to say it anyways. Uh, rape the video quality. So that's nice. Especially right here. God, I could just see those pixels just getting absolutely anal gaped by YouTube. And uh, this race might be a bit of a struggle, so I'm going to keep the commentary to the minimum in case I have to restart. And I can't qualify either, so fuck. Let's just see what happens. I've already used quite a good chunk of my NOS already. Snatched my way into third. Ugh, going a little wide because of that. But I will make my way around the BMW at the perfect time. Got a little bit more ground to make up to take the lead. So yeah, whenever I get the endurance events unlocked, I'm probably just going to stop whatever uh, event. I'm probably just going to stop in the middle of the American One Make races and go ahead and do the Tsukuba 4-hour Roadster event, which is Miata's on Tsukuba for... Not Tsukuba, uh, uh, wait, yeah, it is Tsukuba, I'm a fucking idiot, I, can't, I was getting Tsukuba and Suzuka mixed up, like the genius I am, but, yeah, I want to do that first because I really, really, really want the RX-7 LM race car from that race, because it might be one of my favorite cars in the game, so hopefully that happens. Oh, hey, we've caught up to the Audi. I just realized that, which is cool. Surprised how well this car has been doing for all the A spec points I've been getting. Thanks to the NOS, at least. Let's see if I can get around him right here in the double. Well, not double bus stop, just bus stop, I should say. Somewhat of a dirty pass, but who gives a shit? Around this extremely bumpy section that just loves to unsettle any car you bring it through. Or you bring through it, yes. This emulator hates the textures on this track, like I've said. You can just see, like, shit flickering on the road as I drive through it. I tried several different settings for this track, and I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. Road texture is going to fuck up the quality anyways, as I've said. Why am I using NOS? I don't need it. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, the plan for the LP at the moment. 
I still have to do the professional events at some point. I think I'm just going to do those after I'm done with the American One Make races. I also have, uh, oh, I don't know what the fuck happened to my throat right there, but I also have the normal special condition events that I'm going to have to get to at some point. I think I'll space that out, though, because I don't want to finish all the special condition events, like, early on, and then, like, have nothing for a hundred episodes, so, yeah. And plus, I want to get the extreme events open, because there's a couple cars in there that I want. Couple cars that want to drive in those events, and yeah, but we gotta save the Group C and prototype racing for a little bit later on in the LP. We can't get the good stuff out of the way early on. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I'm gaining quite a substantial lead on that Audi without nosing or anything. Nosing, yes, nice word. Can I take this flat out? Uh, yep. Yeah. I don't know if that little thing in the wall is gonna bring me to a full stop or if there's like an invisible barrier buffer thing on it to where it doesn't like absolutely eat me. Speaking of what's about to happen right now, like that. Get a good look at the car again. I really like this. It's the only Mercedes I like. The only Mercedes I'll spend money on without wanting to puke. Fortunately, I'm gonna... Unfortunately, fuck. I'm gonna have to buy another one later on for their one-make races, so... Fuck me. Anyways, through the final chicane section, I almost fucked everything up by hitting that wall. And across the line. Terrible Jeremy Clarkson impression once again. So, there we go. Who cares about how far ahead I am of everyone off the podium? Who cares about the replay? Nobody. Anyways, 5,000 credits. Hey, I'm back up to 9 million credits. I also went on a car buying spree, so... Yeah. After I got done with the 1,000 miles series, I was just like, fuck it. I'm buying random cars, and I'm upgrading the shit out of them. And just driving them. Like, I bought a Gillet Vertigo. Oh, also, we're going to Autumn Ring. I bought a Gillet Vertigo, or Gillette Vertigo, whatever the fuck you call it. I bought a Viper Team Orica. Which I fucking love, by the way. I bought a stock Viper and fully tuned it. So, not really stock anymore. Four laps around Auto Ring. I bought a Buick Special and fully tuned it. And Jesus, hit fucking Christ. That thing is like... Wow. Uh, I bought a Skyline, an R33, in the used showroom because it was like almost Bateside Blue, and it was like an LM Limited edition, or whatever that means, like V-Spec LM. So, it was pretty cool, and I thought I'd buy it. So, yeah. The emulator does not like this track either. Oh, one of these days, I'm gonna have to figure out what the fuck to do with this. PCSX2 is heavily reliant on video memory and my G RTX uh, 2080 and my GTX 1070 only have 8 gigs of VRAM. So I probably should have just gotten a 1080 Ti or something which has 11 gigabytes of VRAM and that would have made everything run a lot better. But yeah, I'm a fuck-ass and I'm with RTX because I'm ray-tracing her. 
even though I've literally never fucking used it still, and probably never will. Because I'm not a freak whenever it comes to PC gaming. I literally play, like, the same two or three games all the time, and that's it. Pretty much nothing else. And I need more VRAM for this. And my dumbass didn't fucking invest my money properly, so yay. And now everyone's like, oh my god, the RTX 30 series, the 3090s are out, and I must drop $2,000 on it right now, even though I have two 2080 Ti's overclocked and water cooled and gravel and stuff. Gamers are fucking suckers, I'll tell you that. Including myself. I'm one of them, so I can talk shit about it. Haha. <laughs> Ever mentioned how garbage I am at this track? Like, Christ. I, uh, better do some catching up, like, right now. Even though I have two and a half laps to go. Thankfully, this time, the leader isn't hilariously overpowered and getting a huge lead ahead of the field, like always. There's always that one car that does that, and it's really fucking irritating. Oh, fuck you, whatever you are, trying to do a pit maneuver on me. Damn golf drivers and their fucking plaid interiors and their... The Starbucks barista got my name wrong, and my soy latte wasn't cold enough. I'm gonna cancel you, I'm gonna write you a bad review on Yelp. You should be fired. And I'm even more upset today because my vape batteries didn't get charged. Volkswagen drivers, anyways. Oh, god damn it. I just remembered something. I remembered the car that I wanted to get early on, but I completely forgot about it. Fuck. See that BMW in first place? Yeah, that's what I was gonna use for this event originally. But my dumbass forgot about it. And I got this instead. I still like it, but... I thought this was going to be underpowered, to be honest. Meant to hit the NOS there, but I upshifted instead. So I'm kind of screwed up right there. Yeah, uh, hopefully there is a one-make race, at least, where I could use this BMW. I don't know what it is about it, but I think it looks really fucking sick. Not that color, though. That color looks kind of hideous. But... The car itself looks pretty fucking sweet. I'll say that. I kind of like the station wagon, hatchback, lowrider looking things like that. Whatever the fuck you call something that looks like that. That style and uh, 80s Japanese cars are like the absolute best looking things on the planet. Speaking of 80s Japanese sports cars, I really wish they had the RX-7 FB in this game because that's what I'd be driving all the fucking time because that's like my one of my dream cars, my affordable dream car, I should say. And that's what I'd be driving a lot. It's also it's in Gran Turismo 2 and I'm pretty sure that's the only Gran Turismo game it's ever been in. But for some reason, I can never, ever find it in the used showroom. But I always race against it in the Mazda One Make race in that game. Which is kind of odd. And upsetting, because I really want to drive that thing. Also, finally made it back around the BMW. Quite a battle for... Uh, between one and third right now. Considering we've kind of split off from the rest of the pack. So there's a podium battle going on, pretty much. Still have a little bit of NOS left, and I have the lead, so... 
two advantages. I think I'm good, so I'm gonna go back to this view for the rest of the race. Oh god, uh, I did not remember. I did not remember that turn being there. Okay, uh, change of plans. Fuck that. Have I ever mentioned how bad I am at this track? Yes, I know I did because I said it earlier in the race, but I must say it again just to. Yeah. Anyways, uh, across the line. 144A spec points. Good thing I didn't put the standard uh, tires on because I probably would have struggled a lot more or probably lost in general, so... There you have it. At least they're free. So I can use them if I need them. So, third race of the Schwarzwald... Schwarzwald Liga A. Or Schweinhund Liga A. And now... Time for our prize car. And the prize for the Schweinhund Maya A. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry about that. That's the noise I make wherever I coom myself. Yes. This thing for three somewhat short races? God damn. I'll fucking take it. And I'll fucking use it. Eventually, I don't know what for yet, but I'll, I'll find something to use it in. Where are you, you sexy little thing? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. This is giving me knees, knees, yes, need for speed carbon vibes right now. I never played Most Wanted. Yes, I'm a sinner. Just crucify me, please. Fucking sick. Too bad I can't use this in the during touring car championship for money grinding. What the fuck happened to my voice right there? I'm just gonna stop before it gets worse, so... Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more GT4 and the final European events. Which is gonna be the Schweinhund Liga B with the faster German cars. And also, uh, one more thing to note, day 670, so... We're approaching day 694 where I get to buy the stealth edition cars in the used car showroom so let's hope like hits i don't forget even if i do i can just use a save state and go back in time in the game and buy them but yeah uh like i said stay tuned for more gt4